every single light that you see has to be completely different. It has to come from a different power source. We need to build all those things differently. All the cars that are on the road need to be different. And this is one city, and if you zoom out onto a large map of planet Earth at night, you see electrification all over the world. And we're fighting powerful fossil fuel interests that basically want to keep doing business as usual. How can we possibly turn this all around? I mean, the fossil fuel industry is the biggest industry in the world. They have more money and more influence than any other sector. So, I mean, the, the more that there can be sort of a popular uprising against that, the, the better. But I think the scientific fact of the matter is we are unavoidably headed towards some level of, of harm. So the sooner we can take action, the less harm will result. Wow, holy crap, that's a good robot. Whoa. What is your grand vision for all of this? The point of, of the Gigafactory is to get the cost of batteries down to the point where it's affordable. Right. Batteries are critical to a sustainable energy future. The sun doesn't shine all the time, so you've got to store it in a battery. How is this going to help developing nations that have massive populations that need to have power? So the advantage of uh, solar and, and batteries is that you can avoid building electricity plants at all. So you could be a remote village and have solar panels that charge a battery pack that then supplies power to the, to the whole village without ever having to run thousands of miles of the high voltage cable over the place. It's like what happened with uh, landline phones versus cellular phones. In a lot of developed countries, they just didn't do the landline phones. They just went straight to cellular. And we actually did the calculations to say, like, what would it take to transition the whole world to uh, sustainable energy? What kind of throughput would you actually need? Um, and you need 100 gigafactories. So 100 of these? 100 of these, yes. That would make the United States? No, the, the whole world. The whole world? The whole world. All energy. That's it? Yeah. That sounds. That it's sound manageable. Like, that sounds manageable. Yeah. The Gigafactory, when it's complete, it'll have the largest footprint of any building in the world. Counting multiple levels, it could be as much as 15 million square feet. So Tesla can't build 100 uh, Gigafactories. The thing that's really going to make a difference is if companies that are much bigger than Tesla do the same thing. If the big industrial companies in China and the US and, and Europe, the big car companies, if they also do this, then collectively we can accelerate the transition to sustainable energy. And if government sets the rules to favor sustainable energy, we can get there really quickly. But it's really fundamental. Unless there's a price put on carbon. We're never going to be able to make the transition yeah. that we need to in time, correct? Yeah. And the only way to do that is basically with a carbon tax.